Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below. All right, welcome back, YouTubers and Madden fans. This is Mad Money Shot, bringing you another Madden 18 playbook review. Uh, I did a little video a while ago where I essentially, instead of doing a top five playbooks, I decided to show you guys uh, kind of a breakdown, kind of a, a review of all the playbooks. And I want to do it by division, but I want to speed this up. So the last one I did the MC, so this one here I'm going to try to do the entire NFC and, uh, you know, kind of speed this along. If you guys want to see the entire AFC breakdown of playbooks, what's good and what's not good, hit the like button and I'll do that next. Other than that, when I'm done, I would like to do a top five once I have a pretty good understanding of all the playbooks then I would do a top five I also like to do a bottom five but either way like I said I want this video to not be too long so let's get right into it the rest of the NFC if you didn't see video part one I'll pop a link for that that was the NFC East give you a quick breakdown the two playbooks that I liked were the Eagles and the Cowboys the two that I really didn't like were the Redskins and the Giants at the end of the video I'll rank them all from 1 to 16 all right, so we'll start off with the Packers playbook. This is the most requested playbook out there, so I'm sure it's pretty good. Uh, the single back formations are pretty good. The ace is pretty decent. Um, it has some pretty interesting plays. Uh, the ace slot's pretty nice. The deuce close is, is okay. Um, I would say that a lot of these are kind of basic. Uh, the bunch is all right, but it doesn't really have uh, the plays that I like in it. Uh, I would say the wide trips is pretty good. A couple of pretty good uh, pass plays here, um, but not too dynamic. It's better than other playbooks. I would say the single back in this playbook is a little on the weak side. The I form, I really like the uh, the I-form setups that they have. The slot flex has got some really good run and pass plays. The slot open flex is a, is a pretty unique uh, formation where you get a fullback. Uh, the the I-form wing is one of my more favorites. There's some pretty good plays in here. I really feel like a lot of these are kind of wasted formations with not a lot of creativity, but the gun is where it's at. This is a passing playbook and there's some really good gun formations in this book. So if you're a passing person, you have things like uh, the tray offset's pretty nice. The bunch is pretty nice. The tight offset open is pretty nice or I'm sorry the tight offsets tight end uh, the stack Y flex is a newer formation there's some pretty decent formation plays in there uh, and then I think the pack trips is okay too so they have a lot of uh, good gun formations but otherwise I'm a run first kind of person so this doesn't really do it for me next up we got the Lions and the MC North again this is a playbook I lab quite a bit I like the single back wing pair some decent run formations you can do out of that passing plays really aren't that great though uh, the wing slot has a couple of better plays I think I put out a, a series of videos out of this at one point uh, the bunch base is okay nothing great uh, but the single back formations in these really aren't where it's at some decent gun formations but what makes this playbook special I think it's got really good iPhone plays and it has uh, some really good what was the other one it was the pistol yeah it was the pistol wing flex uh, keep an eye out for that in the future for me all right, next up we got the uh, the Vikings. This is a really unique formation or playbook this year. It's got a lot of the same heavy jumbo packages as far as running. Uh, nothing too crazy. It seems like every playbook uh, has these plays. I really like the motion spot to that, though. That's a really good play. Some good run formations here in the single back. Uh, you know this one here. It seems like the, every every book has these single back plays. Um, so, but it's a good single back nevertheless. The I formation uh, it has the wing, uh, which is one of the better ones. Some of the better uh, run plays like the uh, Vikes pack. Power G, which is really big last year, the Power O, the Toss, uh, the fullback dives. This one here is really unique, though. I haven't seen this yet. This jumbo near right here, about to make a scheme out of that. I mean, just looking at this, there's got to be uh, some cheese-ass plays like the halfback inside, I'm sure. I wish there was something like a Toss or something, but there's not. But I'm definitely going to come up with some stuff in this, so keep an eye out for this in the future. Uh, that's the only thing in that formation. Uh, the Strong is not really the best uh, series, but I can probably make a pretty good uh, formation play out of stuff like like that halfback toss there's some really powerful looking run formations in this so this is definitely a power run book then you got the the, the weak wing um, but that's you know this is a power book and then you got your split Viking this is a good one this is popular this ace offset. It looks like they really reworked the the, the, the uh, Vikings playbook. It's got some good gun formations. This is a good running formation out of the gun formation. Inside zone uh, power. Um, there's some good uh, passing plays. Some three wide uh, tight end stuff. So I, this is probably one of the better looking playbooks that I found. Next up we got the Bears. Uh, this seems to have the same recurring single back formations that every other one does. Nothing too special here. Weak sets are kind of pointless. There's not a lot of great weak sets out there but um, they have a couple of good plays in the weak sets. Uh, 
that I like. Uh, but the pistol is really strong. They got some really interesting plays here in the pistol that I like. Um, you know, I think that that's probably one of the strengths uh, of this playbook. And some pretty good passing plays too out of the gun. Uh, but overall, uh, nothing too spectacular that really makes me put this book above any other book. All right, next up we got the Falcons. We're doing the AFC South. This is the first playbook that I found that has something a little bit different in the uh, single back in a while. And it was the, uh, I think it was this one right here, the uh, single back doubles wide open. Some decent plays there. I like their uh, I form. You got the tight, which is a great power formation. You got the slot, the close, which is one of my favorite formations from last year. And it looks like it still has a lot of the same plays, so that's nasty. Uh, this definitely has one of the best I forms I've seen so far. Uh, the I form slot is looks like some really good plays. Uh, a couple of them I've already put out. The wing is a really good one. So right right away, I can tell by the I form, the I formations, and the single back. This is a very strong playbook. This is definitely gonna be one of the top ones. Uh, strong close, decent, uh, pretty decent. Uh, still, you know, in the game. A couple years ago, it was really dominant, but still good. Uh, the, the strong Y off has some good plays that I like. This is definitely going to be one of my favorite playbooks, I'm telling you right now. Then you go to the gun formations, you got your split close, which everybody likes. The wing tight. Now, there's a strong uh, running formation with some good pass plays, uh, the good inside zone. Um, I'll tell you right now, this, this playbook is going right to the top. All right, next up, we got the Saints. Year after year, the Saints got one of the best books in the game. Let's see if it keeps up with that. Uh, the single back has a lot of the same stuff that every other playbook does, although the wings are a little bit different. Uh, it has some pretty good plays. I like the PA misdirects and stuff like that. Some good some good pass plays in there. The wing flex as well. Uh, some good unique plays. Um, they definitely are, are one of the top as far as uniqueness. Then you got the wing stack also. This has one of the better single back uh, playbook formations that I that are, uh, as far as varieties I've seen. The tight slots is really good. You can make a lot of good plays out of that. The doubles. Uh, the wing pair, the the, oh, the wild trio, really good single back formations. Then you get to the I form, and they're pretty good. The close is pretty top notch. It's not as, they don't have as good of I form as the Falcons had, but uh, you know they're, they're neck and neck because their single back is better. The close, the slot flex, the tight, uh, the regular pro is good. The weak formation is okay. Uh, the slot flex is, okay, is is pretty good. The close flex is really nice though. I like a lot of the close flex plays. Uh, maybe I got that backwards. It might actually be the slot flex that I like. Um, let's take a look here. Uh, but they're both good. I mean, their weak formation is probably one of the better ones in the game. Then you got the wing, uh, some really good plays. So, so their uniqueness through the first three are top notch. Then you get to the pistol, and you can't find the bunch tight end in a bunch of different playbooks. So they have another really unique formation, some good plays there. Uh, then you get to the gun formation. They got some really good passing formations, tight offset, tight end again. You got the bunch, uh, the stack wide flex is pretty decent. Ray opens good. Trey wide flex. Uh, the empty Saints, nice. All the empty formations are good. The empty Y Saints, one of my favorite for the last couple years not a lot of plays in it but some really good plays there so saints they might be the front runner might be right back in the top all right next up we got the bucks this year got a pretty similar single back of everybody else nothing too crazy nothing too special uh they do have the wing stack though that's that's a rare one uh the i form is pretty good with the close flex and the slot uh it's a pretty good one's the wing uh so a, de a decent i form they're strong in weak formations which is stuff i typically like to do good running formations the i form they have a really good run setup now when you get to the pass plays split slot everybody likes uh the double flex weak is okay the bunch is good the tight flex is good um this is a pretty good uh balanced playbook uh their gun's kind of limited but they have a lot of really good run formation so i'd say good run heavy book all right, next up we got the Panthers. Now this right here is probably the most, one of the most limited single backs I've seen, but it doesn't have a lot of variation there. Then you get to the I form, same thing. You got the wing and the slot flex, which is nice. The pro is kind of average. Uh, the strong is not really that great. Then the split panther, the, the guns really, really make up ground. The split panther is really nice. The heavy panther, uh, the wing tight's a good run formation. The ace, the ace slot. Um, I would say the uh, the bunch is good. The, I don't like the bunch offset. The tight's really good. Uh, I don't like the double stack. The trio panther is really good the tray wide flex the tray open these are all really good formations this is one of the better passing playbooks that i've seen uh, if you want to know the truth about it then you also got the uh, empty panther which is really good it, it mirrors all the other empty formations and then you end it off uh, with the wildcat though this is not like your typical wildcat but there's a couple of decent plays there but a really good pass book all right next up we got a brand new playbook out of the niners playbook this is a uh, brand new coach so it's essentially completely different from last year uh, as far as the single backs go it's pretty much the same stuff that every single back book has um, nothing too spectacular but when you get to the I form the I form has got seven different formations and they're all really good the wing the tight the close flex the slot uh, the close the Y off and the regular pro you can make an entire offense out of those that I like that's got to be the best I form I've seen uh, but then it kind of tails off again you're strong is kind of average got the strong close with people like uh, the, the the weak formations are kind of average or so the slot opens a little bit different uh, the pistol formations I can't say I'm a fan of and the gun formation 
combinations. You got the split close, the wing tight, that's pretty good. Um, <clears throat> the tray, the, uh, the tight's pretty good. I'd say they're about average. The trio open, they're about average in the gun, uh, but they're spectacular in the, in the I form. And then you got your average single back. So a little bit of a boost because of the I form. Next up, we got another playbook that's traditionally one of the best playbooks in the game, the uh, the Arizona Cardinals, and it still is. But then as you get further down the line, they got the A slot, which is a little bit different. Uh, the wing, which is I think been on a lot. The wing slot, uh, the wing stack, the bunch ace, uh, the double south, uh, the doubles. The, you know what I'm saying? This right here has probably the most I've seen in a single single back setup. They have 13 different formations out of that. But they actually have the strong tight, which is their second formation, which I can't say I've seen in any other playbook. I thought they took this out of the game. It wasn't the Bears last year. This is one of my favorite formations. Then you got the pistol formations. You got two really good ones in the wing flex and the bunch tight end. Uh, some really good plays there. So um, overall, uh, you know, a really strong playbook. And then you get to the gun. They got the split close, uh, the wing stack, which is which is pretty good uh, run formation. Uh, the tray, um, this, the the bunch here. Uh, the flip trips is really good too. This has some of my more favorite plays uh, that looks intact from the same plays that were last year. The tight. Um, so some really good. This is probably once again one of the best playbooks out there. Next up we got the Rams. This is one of my most used playbooks last year in my videos. It was also one of the most used online, and it looks like EA didn't like that because they kind of destroyed it. Uh, the wing tight. The uh, you know these are the same uh, single back formations that seem to be in every playbook. There's some good plays to be had, but nothing spectacular. Then you get to the I form. They don't really have nothing too great. The wings okay. These are very average. The strong's average. The weak's average. You only got one formation. Uh, the pistol's average. There's just nothing really. It seems like they removed all the. The, uh, unique plays from this playbook so EA likes to really switch it up when people are using something too much it looks like they struck again because this playbook now is completely average all right last but not least we got the Seahawks uh, once again single back formation extremely limited only six different variations you get to the I form and there's nothing too spectacular the H tight and the H wing are just variations of the other types uh, that's already out there the strong formations are okay uh, you know uh, more decent really uh, this is a middle of the road type of playbook more towards the bottom really the pistol formation I'm not a huge fan of although the ace is okay uh, then you get to the gun formations and they have some pretty unique ones with the wing pair uh, the ace offset the ace offsets or the ace slot offset uh, the wing slot those are really good run formations so they, they make up a little bit of ground the bunch te there's a lot of really good tight slots you got really good gun formations uh, but everything else is extremely average so this is a good passing playbook brings them up a notch uh, but that's it so that's the end of the video if you guys want to see a part two uh, with the all the AFC teams hit the like button and I'll do that. And that's it. Thanks for watching Mad Money Shit Out.